statistic that of why you might want to reconsider that if you are in the 50% that don't. They say websites give people details about your business. They encourage trust, helps establish your brand. And while having a website is important, it might actually work against you if you don't have one. They say 34% are unlikely to shop with a business if it does not have a website. I, so it's actually costing you costing you business. Yeah, you know, I'm just finding this absurdly ridiculous that, that more than half or, or uh, at least half of the, the small business owners don't have a website. And, and to, to, to go that one step further, have no interest in making one. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I right? I got nothing, right? 45% are unlikely to buy from a business with a poorly designed website. Right. So even if you have one, if it's not designed well, then those that are looking at it, here's what they're looking for uh, to find on your website. Yep. Product info. Yes. Your hours of operation of when you're open. Right. And directions are top of the How list. How to get to you. <laughs> uh, you know, the, those are the things that I look for every single time I go to a website. Um, uh, every time. And so, um, you know, when you think about the stuff that people want to know, right? It used to be we had the yellow pages. We let our fingers do the walking. But now we we are searching online. If we're not finding you, we're not doing business with you. And if we do find you and it's poorly done, we're still not doing business with you. This is kind of ouch, ouch for small business. Yeah, it really is. All right, number two, uh, surprising effects having to do with small business. Only three out of 10 small businesses invest enough in marketing. Angel, I, I mentioned this in yesterday's program, and uh, it is a staggering number of people who just barely invest anything, if anything at all, and only 30% uh, out of out of all of uh, business owners are investing enough. Yeah, there was a survey, the 2017 State of Small Business Report. They surveyed 1,100 small business owners. As a general group, 42% said they invest 3% or less of their revenue in marketing, uh, whereas the Small Business Administration uh, suggests that if you have revenues less than $5 million a year, you should allocate 7 to 8%. So a half to a third of yeah. what they say you should be investing in marketing. And that's 7 to 8% of your, your gross revenue. Uh, and, and yesterday I said 8 to 10%. So this is even more conservative than, than what I was suggesting. Uh, but, but gosh, if, if you're not investing in your marketing, uh, one has to ask the question, what other things are you cutting corners on? And, and why should we consider, you know, if somebody makes bad decisions, we should probably ask ourselves, why should we consider doing business with somebody who makes bad decisions and not marketing your business? That's a bad decision. Oh, that's you, you, a, that's... It's, a, it, it's hard. It's hard, but you've got to market your business. Be All serious right. about who you are and what you're, what, you know, and, and tell people about yourself. Well, here's another interesting thing about how small businesses handle their marketing, um, that only 14% of small businesses outsource their marketing, their public relations, and their advertising. Mm -hmm. right? They, they doing, can do it cheaper themselves. They can do it themselves. And it's not that they don't know how to outsource. 54% are outsourcing graphic design and website design. And so those tasks are complementary to marketing. So it's kind of funny to them that, that they are – that they are not outsourcing the marketing piece when that's such an easy thing to, to outsource. Uh, email marketing is still alive and well, um, which is shocking to me as well. As much as I'm looking at my email today, um, I hadn't opened it in three days since I was sick. Sure. It is overwhelming how many emails <laughs> come in. So I watched, I watched a movie while I was sick in bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got mail. Do you remember it? With oh, Meg Ryan, sure. Absolutely. So this is so cute to go back and watch this because this was the dawn of email. A AOL. Right? Yeah. And so, you know, you open it up and you've got mail. Right. Right? And, and they're digital and they're talking about, you know, still renting movies. And I was just some of the things you can see the switch to technology coming in. Yeah. But it was still very early on. Yeah, we don't very, know what to do with it very yet. Very early adopters. So one of the nights she came home and she opened up her AOL account to see if she had any email. She had no mail. Could you imagine? I, said, I turned to my husband. I said, could you imagine what it would be like to have no email, have no new, new mail, none. 
Like, Something is broken. Right? <laughs> But that, those were the days when you had nothing new. Well, even now, with as much as uh, with with as much email that we all receive, email marketing is not dead. They say that more and more small businesses are using email marketing versus social media. Although they say it was a close tie: fifty percent use email, forty eight percent using uh, social media. Email marketing, they say it's it's affordable, reasonably easy to do. Uh, also is still the consumer's preferred channel of communication from brands. Isn't that interesting? Right? That the preferred way to get news from companies is through email. All right. And they say, uh, surprisingly enough, millennials are more likely to respond to emails than any other generation. Millennials. Millennials. All I right. think boomers are. Yeah, their response is, okay. <laughs> so, uh, all right. And finally, uh, this, folks. Word of mouth marketing continues to, uh, to to have a seat at the table. Uh, there's there's some evidence that suggests that word of mouth marketing is on the rise for uh, seeing seeing as many people come to your your uh, business that way. Still, must add a strategy to each and every one of these uh, elements in order to be successful. All right, gang, we're going to take a uh, quick break, but don't go anywhere. Top of the hour news is next. And we'll return hour number two of Positive Business Talk. America's home.